Ladies and gentlemen, season one is starting soon, and we got a lot to talk about. I need it! What's going on, guys, and welcome back to Modern Warfare 3. And today, man, they released the full breakdown of what's to come within season one. Season one is going to be starting next week, and we have new maps, new DLC weapons, new limited time modes. It's kind of looking really good. I don't want to speak too soon, man, but go down below, drop a like on the video if you guys are excited for season one. And with that being said, man, let's jump into the roadmap. Alrighty guys, and on your screen is the Season 1 roadmap dropping December 6. It's hilarious, man, because we have so much content on this roadmap, and if we compare it to last year with MW2, it's kind of crazy to see. We're gonna start out with Warzone here. We got a brand new map, obviously Urzikstan. If you guys have been grinding for the Borealis camo in Zombies, you, you are already playing Urzikstan. That's the Warzone map. So, we've all kind of been playing it already. I actually had the chance to play Warzone 3, or just the new Warzone map uh, when I got invited to COD next to play MW3 early. So I already played on the map. I think it definitely has some potential, but we'll kind of have to wait and see. Uh, we also have new features like a drivable train, horizontal zip lines, which I actually think is going to be really good for just getting around mobility as well. Big game contract, as well as quality of life updates, fly by public event, and a new champions quest coming later on in the season. Now, we also got some returning maps. Obviously, we have Urzik Stan but we are going to be getting Vondel and Ashika Island from Modern Warfare 2, which I think personally, this is a W because these maps are actually kind of good, but Modern Warfare 2 just didn't play well because it didn't have the movement and the fast-paced gameplay like MW3 has. So I think these resurgence maps are going to play super well with the new movement. Uh, we also got a brand new Gulag and we have new modes, Battle Royale, of course, Plunder is returning and Resurgence. Now moving on to the multiplayer side of things, we got brand new maps we got uh, a, a new map called meat I swear to you, um, that's going to be probably a good map to grind on. Wait. We also have a new map called Grease, which looks really good and vibrant. I'm actually excited for that one. Uh, later on in the season, we're also going to be getting Rio and a brand new 2v2 map. So these are not remakes. These are brand new actual maps. And a lot of people were kind of upset that MW3 dropped with only remade maps and nothing really original. So we are going to be getting some original maps this time around, which is going to be really good. Later on in the season, we're also going to be getting ranked play obviously probably made by Treyarch like they did last year so I'm really excited for that new game modes uh you guys can see we got gunfight we got all or nothing we got headquarters coming on later on in the season team gunfight and infected and on the top right corner you will see we are going to be getting this thing called vortex later on in season with three new maps and we will be getting more into that later on but essentially you'll be able to use a ray gun in multiplayer also we got some things for zombies as well new story mission Dark Ether Rifts. We got a brand new Wonder Weapon as well, the VR-11. We got new schematics, prestige challenges, and new Warlord as well. So Zombies is looking pretty damn good. We're getting brand new kill streaks for multiplayer as well. We're getting the return of the EMP and the Swarm kill streak from Black Ops 2. That's actually insane. I'm so excited to try those out. Moving on here, we got brand new weapons, operators, and more. We got a brand new sniper, which will be featured in in the battle pass called the XRK Stalker. It really reminds me of the MSR from the original MW3 and the Ballista from Black Ops 2. I am really excited for this sniper. Snipers really deserve all of the content. You guys are amazing if you guys are a sniper. And I always want you guys to have new snipers and new bolt action snipers because it's fun. I enjoy it as well. Also gonna be getting the Ram 7, the return of the Ram 7 from Modern Warfare 2019. I know a lot of people might be upset that we're getting an old weapon come back, but they always do this, man. They did this in Modern Warfare 2 with the Lockman sub, and then we also had another MP5 variant. We had two ISO variants, two M13 variants, so they kind of are famous for bringing back older weapons and putting them in the newer games, although the Ram 7 was a pretty good uh, assault rifle, honestly, so I'm kind of excited to use it again. Uh, we also have the Storm Mender, which I think is a new launcher. We'll get more in-depth with these weapons later on in the video. 
Show. And then in season, we're getting the HRM9 as well as the TAC Evolver. Um, I think that might be a new LMG as well. Also going to be getting brand new operators as well. And there will be the Black Cell upgrade if you guys want to purchase that for the Battle Pass. So going to be getting brand new bundles as well. We have Santa's Slayground. It is a holiday event themed maps and mode. So I'm sure they're going to be making more Christmas maps, kind of changing the current maps we have into Christmas themed. We're also going to be getting a holiday event with probably a brand new camo, new bundles, of course, stuff like that. We're also going to be getting Dune Part 2 collab with different operators. Also, The Boys is coming back from Modern Warfare 2. Also going to be a brand new souped up limited time mode within multiplayer. I'm sure this will have to do with maybe like superpowers. We kind of saw that in Modern Warfare 2 with the Havoc game mode. And we're also going to be getting a trial of power Modern Warfare 3 event. So we're going to be getting that later on. But season one is looking very, very good. They also released the blog today in which goes more in depth about the weapons, the maps, the new kill streak. So we're going to check that out. But also just seeing this new map meet, uh, it looks really small like just looking at the mini map um i feel like this is gonna be maybe like a nuke town type style really simplistic design probably really good for just leveling up weapons grinding camos i'm honestly excited about this we need a new small map that isn't rust and shipment so this is gonna be a w now the new map greece on the other hand definitely looks a lot bigger now i don't know if this is just like a regular size map and then meat is super super small or this one looks on the larger side uh, either way i mean the colors look really good like the visuals on the map look super good as well we have the new map rio that will be coming in season this also looks like a small to medium sized map really good colors now here's when we get into the juicy stuff we have a brand new limited time mode coming in the mid-season update called vortex and as you can see by this picture um yeah this guy is using a ray gun in multiplayer it says in this free-for-all mode one player spawns in with the infamous zombies wonder weapon the one shot ray gun whoever eliminates the operator with the ray gun becomes the new owner of this powerful and otherworldly pistol vortex takes place on three remixed multiplayer maps uh satan's quarry spore yard and tetanus this actually might be the first time we officially have the ray gun in multiplayer we also have another limited time mode called santa's slayground it says santa's Nas is here to spread horror and fear complete event challenges to earn rewards and visit classic holiday themed maps including ship miss and hangover just try not to get bitten expect more information on this event later on so it looks like we're gonna be getting shipment christmas vibes and also hangover which i, I feel like is gonna be like maybe high rise and also with season one we're getting a brand new vest uh it says right here the assassin vest is going to be the stealthy Killer. When you actually equip this brand new vest, it says kills don't display skulls, immune to UAV and enemy radar effects, including while stationary. Duplicate effects do not stack. If equipped with ghost camo, you gain the effects of hijacked IFF strobe. Wow, so this is actually kind of insane. If you equip this vest, you're immune to the UAV and the enemy radar, even when you're standing still and you're stationary. Now this... I don't think we need this in multiplayer. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think it is great that if you're standing still and the enemy team calls in a UAV, they can see you on the radar because you're standing still. You're, you're camping. Like, that. that's just kind of how it works. Also, we got the brand new score streaks. Now, the swarm is gonna be a 15 kill streak as well. Obviously, it's just gonna deploy a large number of mosquito drones, which is obviously from Black Ops 2. And we're getting the EMP, which will be 13 kills as well. And it will just disrupt the enemy kill streak equipment, their minimap, their HUD, everything. Now, I really want to check out some of these new weapons that are coming. So the XRK Stalker, very much kind of like the Ballista or the MSR. It says, stalk your prey and lay them out with this tactical sniper rifle chambered in 50 cal. One hit eliminations, look no further. The XRK Stalker sniper rifle deals massive damage and is highly customizable to support multiple play styles. Enhance the weapon's velocity and stability and strike from the shadows or improve its handling capabilities to become a a quick scoping menace. Nah, this might be just like the go-to quick scoping sniper. And it actually looks like a sniper rifle compared to like the longbow, which really does just looks like an AK-47 with a sniper scope. Of course, we got the Ram 7 as well. It says exceptionally compact. This bull pup pistol rifle sports a lightweight polymer frame and is chambered with 5.56 ammo. When you need power and mobility, the Ram 7 is a sure bet. Ram 7 was definitely a good mobility.
ability assault rifle. It was really good for those close and medium ranges. We also have the Storm Mender, which is going to be a brand new launcher. This will actually be only the second launcher in MW3. It says this state of the art weapon system fires a localized EMP on a slight delay, uh, destroys tactical and lethal equipment, and temporarily disables other electronic devices. Hello? So later on in the mid season update, we're getting the HRM9, which is going to be a brand new SMG. It says a light yet stable 9mm submachine gun for close quarter combat and putting down enemies quickly. And we also got the brand new LMG coming in the mid season update as well. We also just got another LMG, the TAC Eradicator. So we're going to be getting another one, but I feel like there's a good wide range of weapons coming in season one. We got the sniper, the AR, SMG, LMG. Like we have a good range of weapons. Also coming with season one is going to be nine new aftermarket parts. So we'll be able to change nine weapons in the game to something different or add on to them. It says season one brings new aftermarket parts, including the Jack Purifier, a new flamethrower under barrel attachment for multiple weapons. This will be available in the season one battle pass. Oh my God, a flamethrower on multiple guns. We also have a brand new double barrel kit, which is for the AMR9 SMG. It says this kit creates two stacked barrels that fire simultaneously. We also have the Jack Thunder LMG kit right here. Dominate lanes and hold objectives with this LMG conversion kit uh, that brings a large capacity magazine and ramps its fire rate up. Damn. So the Jack BRB, which is going to be compatible with many assault rifles, SMGs, battle rifles, marksman rifles, and sniper rifles. We also have another one, the Jack Bullseye, which is redacted, a very low profile dot optic. Okay. We also have this glassless optic sight. Uh, it says this small reflex optic offers a crisp and clear sight picture. Okay. Another one, the Jack Signal Burst for the Holger AR, a conversion kit designed for accuracy and controllability with four round bursts. Wow. So you can actually take the Holger AR and make it a four round burst. We also have the Jack Beholder Rifle Kit, uh, a long and heavy barrel that offers the best increase to range, improves recoil control and damage range, converting this handgun into a single shot rifle. And we also have the Headhunter Carbine Conversion for the Rival 9. Uh, it says Rival Assault Rifles with this three round burst conversion kit. Oh, wow. We also get a good look at the Season 1 Battle Pass and kind of just all the different items you can get. We also have brand new weekly challenges as well, which it looks like we're going to be able to get and unlock a brand new camo called Coherence. So hopefully that's animated. Hopefully it, that looks good in game. We also did get some information on the prestige system. And just like I thought, it's back to the seasonal prestige system we saw last year with Modern Warfare 2. Essentially, we're going to be able to get to level 250 with Prestige 5. These are the prestige emblems. And once you hit level 250, you're capped and you have to wait until season 2 to rank up and level up again. I really am not a fan of the seasonal prestige system. I just wish they would kind of just let us grind and let us get to whatever level we want to get to and not really cap us. But overall, man, that is season 1 of Modern Warfare 3. A crap ton of content between brand new maps, brand new weapons. We also have the aftermarket parts. We also have a ton of skins and operators and bundles coming. New updates for zombies, new updates for Warzone. There's a lot to look forward to, and I feel like this is a lot more content than what we got in Season 1 of MW2. Thank you all so much for watching. Drop a like if you're excited. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. I'll see you guys next time.